As you probably know, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg is one of my favorite historical characters. In the late 1800s, he ran the Battle Creek Sanitarium in Battle Creek, Michigan, where he catered to rich hypochondriacs with his vegetarian diet, his uh, yogurt, and uh, he had some very interesting views. Imagine if he were around today to watch Seinfeld, one of the best TV shows I think ever created. I think Dr. Kellogg would have really liked the episode called The Contest, one of the most cleverly written episodes ever, where uh, Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer make a bet on who could be master of their domain for the longest time. Why would Dr. Kellogg have liked that? because he thought that sexual activity should be reserved for procreation. It was not something to be enjoyed. In fact, he thought that it catered to ill health. He was uh, especially adamant that self-satisfaction was just terrible for the body. So he would have liked this idea of the four friends abstaining from such activities. Oh, how about some of the other episodes? What would Dr. Kellogg have thought of that? What about the fat-free yogurt, where uh, they indulge in eating yogurt, thinking that it is fat-free, and then it turns out that it isn't. They start putting on weight. What would Dr. Kellogg have thought about that? You know that he would have really liked the idea of yogurt. Uh, he certainly was in favor of uh, consuming yogurt, and he also advocated the use of yogurt to the rear portals. He thought that yogurt enemas were great for health. And you know what? He was right about that. Because introduction of probiotics, that is beneficial bacteria, is actually better done through the rear than uh, taken by mouth. But I think he also would have uh, been very much against advertising something as fat-free when it isn't because he was a stickler for proper uh, advertising. He, he was uh, uh, actually very much on, on the side of, of, of science, which is why he would have looked uh, very curiously at another Seinfeld episode called The Heart Attack, in which George goes to consult a healer. Uh, he's told that he has to have his tonsils removed. He doesn't want to do that surgically. He goes to this healer and uh, he ends up sitting under this pyramid and consuming a herbal tea that is supposed to cure him. Well, what would Dr. Kellogg have thought of this? The healer tells George, don't ever take a hot shower. He also tells George that he should have been born in August instead of April. Anyway, it turns out that Dr. Kellogg actually was very much in favor of cold showers, hydrotherapy. He thought that it reduced the pulse. So he would have been in agreement with that, but he wouldn't have liked this nonsense about the pyramid and herbs. He was actually a properly trained surgeon, and he would have really objected to this healer's comments that the uh, medical establishment is interested in keeping people sick so that they can profit more from selling them useless drugs. And then there was the episode called The Mango. This is one that I don't think Dr. Kellogg would have uh, enjoyed. In this episode, Kramer and George develop uh, romantic interests. Uh, their libido is increased when they eat a mango. And this would not sit well with Dr. Kellogg. He was certainly not interested in anything that could have an aphrodisiac effect because, as I said, he thought that sexual activity was detrimental to health. But what an interesting chap he was. He did good things with his probiotics and even with his cereal. Uh, it was the first time that, that cereals were introduced with a health connotation. The high fiber in the cereal is what we would today call a prebiotic. It feeds the good bacteria in the gut. So he was right on many things. But then again, he had some crazy inventions. He had a chair that would shake you up and down 60 times a minute to uh, dislodge anything that might be in, in the bowel. And then he had another invention. 
And uh, this would have gone hand in hand with that uh, episode of the contest. Uh, Dr. Kellogg introduced uh, items such as this to prevent what he called the great evil. Well, you can now understand why I think Dr. Kellogg was such an interesting man.